to more Mesa. It is your boy Mesa, man. We back again with another reaction video, guys. Look, man, we got the whole Casper and Yves legal mistake uh, between him. Oh, I just spit everywhere. Between him and AKA, that might win AKA a lot of money. This is explained. Shout out to Zanzi A Listers, man. Let's go ahead and check this one out, man. Y'all know here, smash the sub and like the video. Let's get it. 14th of October, just before 7 p.m., Casper and Yves posted a picture of AKA holding Biliato on his Twitter with a caption introducing the new brand ambassador of Are Biliato. You mad? Mix it with lemonade. Around the same time, that same post was then posted on all these social media platforms, including Facebook and Instagram, and it created some confusion. Some people immediately noticed it was fake because it had a hybrid tag, whereas a lot of people who don't even know who or what hybrid is or even see the tag started reshowing the announcement as if it was real. Moments oh later, God. AKA came out with a statement saying that picture was manipulated and considering his partnership with Cruz, Kespa's announcement was ill-considered. And since then, there's been an interesting legal debate around intellectual property, specifically as in if Kespa Nuves can actually be sued and the chances of that lawsuit actually being successful. Can it happen, y'all? Is it gonna happen? I seen Casper post a video it is important to note that a lawsuit is under civil law and the standard of proof is actually more relaxed than it is under criminal law, which means we balance probabilities as opposed to proving things beyond reasonable doubt, which is very critical. To start off, what was wrong about the situation? Mm. It is actually both the false announcement and the picture. But yeah. to start with the picture, it is technically illegal to edit someone's intellectual property without their permission. So Hybrid, who took AKA's picture holding another alcohol brand and photoshopped it, adding Biliato instead, had violated AKA's intellectual property rights. For example, Tracy Chapman sued Nicki Minaj for an unauthorized sampling of his music for a track that was basically never released but was still available online to a certain extent. And even though that may have been American law, in this regard, intellectual property is similar. You need as much permission to edit as much as you need final approval to release such works in the public domain. And in this case, I doubt Hybrid got the permission to do either of these things and therefore infringed on AKA's intellectual property rights. There were some comments from people suggesting that AKA could not sue Casper Nuvest because Casper Nuvest himself did not make that picture, which was a very big misunderstanding because Casper's actions of downloading the picture from Hybrid's Twitter page, then deciding to upload it on his own social media pages with an additional false statement saying AKA is the new brand ambassador of his own alcoholic brand are very separate from Hybrid's unauthorized edit and publication of that image. And what I mean by that is that Casper Nuvesti's statement, even without that picture, was enough trouble for Casper already. That is because of personality rights or rights to publicity, which are rights for an individual to control the commercial use of the identity, such as a name, image, likeness, or other unequivocal identifiers. For example, former Argentine football player Diego Maradona sued Italian fashion house Dolce & Gabbana for an unauthorized use of his name. The lawsuit related to the use by Dolce Gabbana of Maradona's name on a football jersey worn by a model during a fashion show in Milan. Maradona claimed that the defendant was exploiting his name and taking unfair advantage of his reputation by misleading the public into believing that there was a commercial relationship between him and the defendant. The Milan court of first instance found in favor of Maradona determining that if a sign or a name is well known, it cannot be freely used by a third party without the permission of the right holder. South Africa, however, does not have specific protection of image rights because our legislative house is full of people who are only interested in using parliament as a stage to ascend to executive power and not for its legislative duties per se, which means that certain parts of the South African creative economy don't actually have legislative support because most of the laws that get passed are either race baiting or related to a political agenda. Likely though, for AKA, certain parts of our common law in general do at least offer some protection to personality rights. In the case of Kumalo vs Cycle Lab, 
In 2011, the South Rotten High Court held that a recognized form of falsification occurs when a person's image is used for advertising purposes without his or permission, creating the impression that such a person has consented to such conduct or supports the advertised product, which is exactly what Kespan Invest did. Image rights can also be enforced by a way of common law action of passing off or by instituting trademark infringement proceedings. The law of passing off prevents one trader from misrepresenting goods or services as being the goods or services of another and also prevents a trader from holding artists or goods or services as having some association or connection with another when this is not true. It can be considered passing off for example when Casper Neves puts up a picture of AKA supposedly holding Biliato then announces him as an associate of his alcoholic brand. The statement is also defamatory and that is because defamation of character does not only apply to a person's good name but to reputation as well. This is important because AKA is not only just a big general media brand, he's also a rapper and in hip hop it definitely affects a person's reputation if your biggest known competitor somehow says you work for him. So even though this is generally a passing off case, it also has some defamation elements. But perhaps the biggest problem potentially is that Biliato may also be involved in this. And that is because Kespan Invest himself has said that he's the main shareholder and CEO of Biliato, which means that he's the main agent of the company legally. A company's agent can act for the company and in some cases legally bind it. Agency is a term that refers to the relationship between a principal who may be a person or a business who engages an agent who is another business person to act for the principal. To easily explain this, shareholders appoint CEOs who are referred to as agents and relinquish control of a company to the CEO as the main agent. Kespan Invest may be at the same time a director, shareholder and a CEO as he claims but we'll mainly focus on him specifically being the CEO of Biliato because although the company's and intellectual property commission has listed Kespan Invest and David Pollock DeMart as the directors of the company, being a director may not mean that you're an agent of the company but being the CEO means that you are. In fact, in South Africa, anyone dealing with the CEO of a company is entitled to assume that that CEO has the authority to act on behalf of the company even though he or she may lack that authority. Such assumptions hey, arises pursuant to the doctrine of ostensible good, authority bro. which refers to the apparent authority of an agent here being the CEO acting on behalf of the principal being the company as it appears to third parties with whom the agent interacts. In this case, it will be the general public. To easily explain this, Kespan Invest tweeting about Biliato is almost the same thing as Biliato itself tweeting saying AKA is their brand new ambassador. Some Damn. people in the comment section suggested that the case Basically, won't speak right? because it was a joke. It's like, but no, it's, it is like it's like... Um... <laughs> Damn, it's like Elon Musk tweeting that whoever, I don't know whoever's ahead of Apple right now, is now, I don't, you know what I'm saying, is now associated with Tesla, like yo. It's always important to remember that a joke is not a valid legal defense and it's being the CEO not. of a company means that you may have to behave differently. Yeah, Zanzi sure. Alistus estimates that AKA can come out of this whole thing with its own McLaren worth of damages and we have opted not to include Cruz's legal stance in this video because we could not verify if they have the exclusive use of AKA's image rights as well not include Biliato's other shareholders potentially suing Casper Invest as he has not acted in accordance with the company's act which requires him to act with reasonable care skills and diligence. But ironically, both Biliato and Cruz have been linked with Blue Sky Brands and David Pollock DeMott. But you guys tell us what you think about it. Comment. Look, that's crazy. Look, man, comment down below y'all's thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Y'all think that, you know what I'm saying, this case is going to go to distance and then will AKA win the case or will it just all fade away? Let me know what y'all, what you guys think. Hope you guys enjoy my reaction. Commentary. Stay tuned for the next